Hello folks, welcome back. So, um, unfortunately I lost my previous character to safe game incompatibility. So, um, usually what you can do is go back in Steam and revert the version of the game back to a previous version and uh, then you can still play your character. Um, this didn't work for some reason. So, if I try to if I do that and try to load my save game, I get an error message. So something has just apparently been corrupted there. It's, um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not mad. This is just something that can happen when you're playing this. And fortunately enough, I haven't really, like, played all that far with the last character. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to start playing again with the new character and, uh, I'm going to keep going with the with the with the Esper, I guess, because that was that was very promising and a lot of fun, and um, yeah, I think in the comments Thomas Walpole was actually talking about uh, that that he also got into Espers recently and he had a few very cool runs with it. So uh, yeah, that is very encouraging, and. Uh, I'm going to keep trying with this. So how about we start a new game, let's create a new character, and let's start with a mutated human, as you have to do when you're playing an Esper. And we're again going to go for full ego, as we want this to get as high as possible. Uh, I think with intelligence I'm just going to go for 16. I don't know if we actually need all that many skill points. There's some stuff that's probably interesting. But, um, let's go with 16 intelligence. So, uh, the bonus that you get from the intelligence bonus, like f from plus one, plus two, and so on, on skill points, isn't all that fantastic, actually. So, uh, I think we might be okay with 16 here. I don't know, maybe not. This is frequency, mental mutation frequency, so that's probably all right. Um, and now again... I'm kind of... We could do toughness or agility. Maybe we could do 18 agility, 12 toughness. So we're... I, I kind of want to try this. To again go for dodge value. That is also a tip that, uh, that Thomas gave in the comments. And that's actually pretty good. So uh, last time what I tried was to go, for, go all for toughness. And take armor and so on. Um... We're going to be a little frail now, I think. So we're going to have to make good use of our mutations and so on. But I think I'm going to go for agility. That means that we can shoot better. Like I was trying to use pistols and so on. And that would be good. And also the ego projection to agility will get us a lot of agility, I guess. So it was twice the bonus. So plus 8. So we have a, an agility of 26 then if we do the ego projection. So that would be great. And all that would be good, is what I'm saying. Right? I think this makes sense, kind of. I guess. As I said, the, the low toughness can, could be a little tough, but uh, we're gonna see how we can make this work. And I'm obviously going to go for dodge value again now. So, um, yeah. We're not gonna have as much dodge value as Obviously an agility-based character, but uh, that's okay. So I'm going to be an Esper again. And let's go for the mental mutations. So I'm going to definitely go for light manipulation again. Um, so what Thomas was saying that cryokinesis is also pretty awesome. And it probably is. Let's see if we can get this later, maybe. Because five points, a five points mutation, that's kind of a lot. So um, we're going to go for... I think we're going to do... Pretty similar thing than last time. So light manipulation, ego projection is good. Um, let's see, what else did we have? So this is something we got from like new mutation stuff, right? Um, Sundermind, no, we did not have that. I think Force Wall was a thing. And now we can have one more two mutation thing. Well, I think I'm going to go for clairvoyance again. I haven't really used that much with the last character, but it is actually probably really useful to 
be able to know where things are. So uh, I think I'm going to go with clairvoyance and uh, I just have to use it more, I guess. Right, so light manipulation for attack, which uh, will be a little tough in the beginning, I think, but we're going to get better at that. Much better. Um, a fourth wall for sort of getting away from bad shit, I guess. Ego projection to be as agile as possible. And clairvoyance for clairvoyance to see stuff. Right? Right. Let's continue. And we're going to play the Apostle again. So um, we can intimidate and we can proselytize. Proselytizing, you know, you get, a, you get an enemy or a character onto your side. <coughs> so from what um, Thomas was saying, is uh, you can also proselytize Snapjaws, for example. So that could be cool. So you can have a posse of Snapjaws or with pistols. And you can give your guys items that they will then equip uh, which is something I did not know actually that you could do and the the process of that is a little weird but uh, we're gonna see I think you have to look at them and then there's a menu and then you can do some stuff um, we're gonna we're gonna find that out so uh, again huge thanks for huge thanks to Th Thomas for pointing me onto that stuff um, that is actually really useful I don't know when I would have found that out by accident, I guess. What is my name? What is my name? We're gonna be Walton. And here we are. So, um, okay, let's do the song and dance here. I'm in search of for work and we're gonna get his quest, which is the Red Rock quest. And what we're also gonna get from him is the Vine Wafers which we can basically just buy for peanuts now. This is the great thing of playing an ego-based character, is um, you're suddenly fucking awesome at bartering. I do like that. So let's get his quest for the six day stilt, which is something I still haven't done, uh, but I must do at some point. Black robes, okay, a weird artifact. That's good, and that's gonna go, that's probably, it was one pound, so that is probably a uh, grenade. Not just probably, but very surely a grenade. Wooden arrow, torch, okay. And let's see the last thing. Labor a security card, oh, that's kind of cool. So we can open a few doors with that. Some more vine wafers, a club, and some microchips. The microchips. Like, picking up that stuff is actually not bad now, because uh, we can sell it for a bunch. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at our equipment. So, we have a staff right now. Since we have a bit of agility, we can maybe also... We could go for long blades. Or for short blades, actually. We're gonna see. Let's get rid of the cloth robe and use black robes. We're all mysterious. Um, also, yeah. I haven't talked about this yet, but uh, some of the stuff from the recent updates is um, there's more music now. Like they have added a bunch of ambient music that is, there's a lot more of it now. Which is kind of cool because, uh, yeah, these videos were a bit quiet, right? It was just me talking over, over the void. And uh, having like a bit more ambiance in the background is actually maybe kind of nice for the videos. We're gonna see about that. I think you can actually turn that off. So it's only sporadic, but um, I don't know. We're gonna see. And also, uh, the big thing that they did, which probably made the save games incompatible, is um, they completely revamped the ruins areas apparently in the map creation. So now I think they changed the population and so on. So I'm actually kind of stoked to find out what that is, because if you remember, in the long run, when we were actually in Golgotha and further. Uh, the ruins were actually kind of underwhelming because there wasn't a lot of interesting stuff there. So maybe this is now fucking great. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, yeah, two-handed sword. I mean, we can use that. Oh, we need. Yeah, you need a free hand staff. Um, the light projection isn't great yet, so we're probably gonna keep mucking around with the torches for now. But uh, okay. 
anything else? No. Let's get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Like this cloth robe. Uh, I think we can actually sell a few of these torches. These are way too many. Let's get rid of 14. I'm gonna get rid of this two-handed sword for 14. Oh. You know, these ego skills are fantastic. So good. We get so much water from that, you just have to be careful not to... Then we, that will probably never be a problem, really. So let's see, do you have anything cool? You do have a desert rifle and a musket. We could get that desert rifle, actually. Um, I'm gonna get your vine wafers. Steel boots, leather armor, well, not really anything cool. Let's get the lead slugs, because whatever whatever weapon we, we end up using, uh, we can probably use that. So we could go for rifles or we could go for uh, pistols. I'm not really sure about that yet. We're gonna, we're gonna find that out. And metal sheet. Can maybe buy one or two, three, four, five... Ban bandages? That might be a good idea. Other than that, I don't know if there's anything that we desperately need. Probably not, right? Let's do this. Yes. Thank you. Give me all your stuff. And now, let's go to Argive. We're gonna get his quest. We're gonna give him our grenade. And we're gonna buy his vine wafers. And all the wafers. All the wafers we can get. Boom. Yes. Good. And give him a knick-knack. It, it, it was a grenade. It was pretty surely it was a grenade. Like, one pound weird artifacts that you find at the start of the game are almost certainly, uh, almost certainly grenades. So, we're gonna do laze. We're gonna do the force wall on two. We're gonna do clairvoyance. And we're gonna go boost agility on four. Uh, we're gonna have Sprint on 5 and Proselytize on 6. We're gonna start making use of Proselytize immediately by trying to Proselytize this guy. Yes, you can. Okay, so, um, let's look at him. What can you do now? How can you do this? Oh, there it is. Give items attack target. Rename. We can rename him. You're gonna be Jeff. Are you Jeff now? He's Jeff now! This is awesome! This is great! And you can give him items. Good! Um, I'm gonna give you one torch. I give- we gave you all the torches. No! Oh dear, that is not good. <laughs> hey, fun times. Okay, I gave him all the torches. No, well, that wasn't good. I think I can't get those back now. Um, I'm just gonna buy... Hey, good times. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy like five torches or something back. Just so that we have some. Like having the light manipulation makes this uh, not too huge of a problem. But we still kind of want... Um, let's extinguish this. We still kind of want... Like in, so that will lead to us not being able to see anything anymore because we're in combat and that's not, not so great. Um, oops, let's do some glowfish killing. Boom. Just for the experience points. We're gonna have to, you know, make do with murdering a bunch of garbage for now. But that's just how it goes. This is leather armor, isn't it? Yeah, studded leather armor even. Don't have any use for that right now, because, uh, yeah, as I said, dodge value is the thing for now. There's another fish. Hey, glowfish. Fishy, where are you going? Oh, there's a bunch of glowfish here. So, um, just have to be careful, because he will now start attacking the glowfish as they become hostile, and that he is not going to get murdered by the glowfish. But, oh yeah, that's okay. I think it's more of a problem when you are killing... When you are killing the glow pads. I had that happen once. Where the glow pads were then hostile. Which normally isn't a problem. But um, 
Your followers, they don't care much for their own self-preservation. <laughs> and they will, they will just... Hey, I have no health, but there's this glow pad that I really hate. And uh, they're just gonna go ahead. And get themselves killed by a glow pad. Which is not exactly the most dignified death. But, uh, well, I guess. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. Let's see. I'm gonna light the torch now. So that we have, that we can see some. See, there's a bunch of glow pads. If I were to attack them, a lot of garbage would happen because, um, oh, Jeff gains a level. Awesome. Um, yeah, a lot of garbage would happen because uh, that would be generally a bad idea. Woven tunic. Gonna use that. Um, yeah, I still need some more. Maybe we can more. Get more stuff. So that would be really bad for Jeff, is just what I'm saying. I gained a level. Awesome. So Jeff is actually kind of good in the beginning here. Let's get this iron longsword. Which I'm gonna equip right now. Yes. Um, and a short bow. We can also equip this for now. Until we find anything better. A Nullworm skull. We can put that on the head, and this will give us plus one ego, right? Yes, it does. Defo gonna get that. Alright. Let's kill that guy. Okay. Vinewood sap mask, that is gonna get go straight to our face. Kill that, kill that guy. Uh, short bow, no. Wooden arrow. We can get the wooden arrow. Maybe I should have bought some more arrows from the trader, but uh, we're not gonna do much with the bows, I think. Maybe I'm actually gonna go for rifles this time, but uh, not really sure. We're gonna see. Alright, so far so good. Let's go north, and we are in the plains, finally. Oops. Oh dear. Don't throw grenades at me. Don't throw grenades at Jeff! That's not nice. Hey Jeff, how are you doing? You're fine. That's nice. Um, gonna kill the giant butterfly. It wasn't a butterfly, but it was a giant thing. It's just 10 XP, but uh, 10 XP is better than no XP. Also, we could maybe... I think I can actually give Jeff the short bow. So, let's give him items. Let's give him that short bow. Maybe he's now gonna shoot. Yes! He shot, he fucking shot that thing in the face. Jewel encrusted. This will probably give us a bunch of health, uh, not health, water, but uh, it's pretty heavy. We only have 150, so uh, I might drop it if... Don't get your shit rusted, man. <laughs> Fuck, why are you attacking? Why is the Echomax attacking? Oh dear, that <coughs> <coughs> That's not good. Um, this is not good. Maybe because I was attacking the grind giant dragonfly? That might have been the problem. Mm, can I run? Let's run. Yes. I begin sprinting. And we're gonna... Oh no, that was... that went wrong. Uh, don't kill Jeff. He's still f perfect, right? No, Wharton. Then that's me. That's fine. Uh, we are not equipped to kill that thing. <laughs> this is gonna be a big dance. Wounded. Okay, we're actually getting in some hits here. Uh, the Echo Max is as well getting in some hits, which isn't fantastic. Oh no, there's a salt hopper and there's a boar, and I'm dead. Okay, well this was this was big garbage fire. Uh, well that's how it goes. Um, generally pretty cool. We're gonna do this again. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you again next time. This was yeah. This is. Actually, kind of probably going to be the thing with this character. 
is we're gonna have to try re- Also, I didn't spend my points. Um, I'm so stupid. Oh, man. Oh, probably screaming at your monitor, but uh, yeah. Um, is to survive the beginning. And uh, you're gonna get a tough mother effer later on. This is probably how it goes. So, yeah. Uh, I hope to see you next time, even though this run wasn't great. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna play the Esper again. And at some point, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to sort of alternate between Esper, uh, the rejoinder type, and trying something new, I guess, right? So, uh... Yeah, that's and that's the plan. Bye bye.